Welcome to a speedrun walkthrough of Popful Mail for the Super Famicom. Uh, you may know this game better as a Sega CD game that was uh, translated by Working Designs back in the 90s. Uh, this is a Super Famicom version of it, uh, which is not as well known, uh, but still pretty good. Very different game, a uh, completely different game as well. Uh, so if you're going to speedrun us, time starts when you hit start on this screen, and you're going to immediately hold Right, uh, my name is Verts, and I am currently the world record holder for this run uh, with 110.57. Basic controls, Y attacks, B jumps, D-pad moves. That's all you'll need right now. Start will pause the game, select opens a map screen, which we'll use soon. You automatically go in this door, you don't need to press up. You'll notice I'm holding Y while I mash. That's a good habit to get into for later game text boxes. These early ones don't matter as much. You do want to be mashing, though. First button will trigger the text to speed up, and then you'll be mashing to get uh, the box closed. Here you go, talk to this lady with the cat. Hold select this entire time. Reason is, uh, normally you would walk to the right to leave this area, but as soon as these conversations finish, the map is available to you. So if you hold select, you'll automatically open the map. Hold up, and press B. You can buffer a lot of inputs in this game. So holding select will just automatically open the map. Holding up will move you. Holding B during that transition will uh, let you into this area very quickly. A lot of cutscenes here. Let's continue to mash. At the end of this, uh, this character, who is uh, one of Mail's childhood friends, I think, um, he will give you a piece of armor. You must press B, and only B, to equip the armor. It will automatically be on the Yes Equip option, you just have to press B. There you go. There are a couple of other spots in the game where that is true as well. And with that, you keep moving to the right, and then you get into your first uh, combat area. Uh, we're not going to fight pretty much anything. You can walk through a lot of enemies. These spiders, you do not want to walk through. They will wreck your day, they do a lot of damage, surprisingly. So just continue to walk right, jumping at the appropriate places. Here it's okay if you don't kill all the enemies. You do get gold for killing them. Uh, your gold is indicated at the top right. Alright, here's a nice skip. Drop down, hold right, and you're going to do that jump. I'm going to show it again in part to show it a, a different thing here in a second. So again, walk, drop, jump, jump. If you do a down attack on this guy, make sure you hold jump here because you will start crouched like you saw there. Uh, if you stay crouched, you'll just move very slowly, so make sure you're holding jump if you decide to do that. You'll notice some transitions like that, visual and audio. Hopefully I made them smooth for you. Um, since this is a guide, I want to show some things multiple times uh, so that you can get a sense of how you uh, can go about things differently. Coming up on the first boss here, uh, you'll see Tat, a soon to be a character of ours, uh, but he gets beat up, so we're gonna move to the right. Jump, attack, down, jump, attack, down, attack, attack, and then do this crouch attack, moving to the left. That is the fastest way I've found to do it. You'll see that fight again, and you'll see what can go wrong as well. Um, that first part of moving to the right, I should mention, is automatic, so you don't have to hold right immediately out of that conversation with Tat. Normally you would mash here, we're gonna watch that fight one more time. Basically, if you move into the boss too early in its downward jump cycle, you will get knocked away, like so. Uh, so if that happens, you just kinda have to recover. You can jump on the robot as it's standing on the ground, so be aware of that. Alright, so here you're just gonna mash through a conversation, Tat's gonna introduce himself, Mail's going to say, hey, I'm on a quest to catch this wizard who's worth a whole lot of money. It's basically the, the plot at this point. Hey, here's that wizard who's worth a whole lot of money. How convenient. He's not going to stick around very long, though. Tat's going to go look for him. Okay, so here, just climb up. Most of the paths in this game are pretty straightforward. Um, you might think at first that it's going to be a little bit maze-like in some areas. That's true. Um, but if you basically take the first path available to you most of the time, uh, you will go the right way. Here you're going to drop down, kill some spiders, drop down, drop down. Here you want to hold down and attack on these, and you'll move down the ladder very quickly. Here you're going to be moving to the left, 
you do want to kill these spiders, they will they will hit you otherwise. Killing that wizard is very helpful, otherwise he'll shoot a shot uh, that will chase you all the way to here, pretty much. And probably hit you. Down attacks really helpful for clearing some spiders out. Again, holding down an attack off the ladders will get you off of them right away. As long as you're holding attack, you will not grab back on. With this ladder climb coming up, uh, you want to mash jump, hold up, and then uh, switch to left. You'll get through to a cutscene. In this cutscene, we see Nuts Cracker and this other guy. I think his name in Japanese is just Man <laughs> right now. Um, I should mention with climbing, you just want to hold up and mash jump. Um, you will grab back onto the ladder and then jump uh, pretty much immediately. Here, this is kind of a tricky move. It took me a lot of recordings to get this, um, but you just want to be mashing attack and then hold down and attack for that ladder. There are easier ways to do it if you jump higher. Um, that will definitely be easier. That's a really hard barrel to avoid. Here, jump, drop down. You're going to do these jumps up. Uh, you just have to be barely on these, uh, these leaves to be able to jump. Um, I mentioned buffering inputs before. You can buffer jump, so as soon as you're in the air, if you hold jump again, uh, you will jump. So if you look at the input display, you'll see a lot of the time I'm holding jump before I land. This climb is super fun. Uh, a lot of us found this. So just climb up those ladders, jump on those spikes, and then keep moving to the right. Two skips in this level were found very quickly, um, thanks to uh, DL Darklink or Lock and uh, Joey Mittens for finding some of these uh, tips and tricks that I'm going to talk about. I'll try to give credit where it's due. Uh, for example, the uh, holding select in the first area after talking with the, uh, the lady with the cat. Uh, Log found that, uh, so I want to shout out people as appropriate. Here this guy saves us. Um, I think the plot here is that Nutscracker attacked a village in this area, and this guy's out for some revenge. Here, you're gonna keep moving to the right, kill these spiders, keep jumping. If you stay on the ground, that wizard will shoot a shot, and it's 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 not bad, but if it hits you, it'll take, do some damage. You're gonna do a little climb here, and then move to the right. Only one way through this area, so not not many options there. All right, boss two. Uh, this guy, you're gonna see this fight twice um, for the first phase, and then once really for the second phase. Um, basically, you want to stab him in the toe. And then when his head detaches, time your jumps so that you can do downward strikes on the head. Here I failed, so I like kind of messed up my movement there. Um, but basically I do, once I realize I'm doing damage to the boss, I do nine toe hits and then jump left, up, and right to land on his head with a down attack, like so. And then you want to time your attack so you can do two downward strikes with each jump. As long as you're holding down an attack, you will you'll be able to do that. That's the end, basically, of the first level. We're going to see Tat down here. You can drop straight down there. It just means you take like a minor bit of uh, drop damage, and it might slow this down a little bit. It's not terrible. And Tat's going to come with us, so we now have a new character as we move into Stage 2. If you look at my input display, you'll notice I'm going to hold R here. If When you press R, you swap characters. That's another input that you can buffer. So you kill those two bats, drop down the ladder, hit that guy twice to kill him. Kill this bat on the way, and hit this guy. It's not really worth trying to jump up here uh, without killing those guys, so use tat to your advantage, then switch to mail. Uh, mail you're going to use to drop off and do some uh, time jumps. Um, you want to avoid damage here, basically. Um, we're going to be going into a shop area. Uh, we haven't gone to a shop yet. Shops let you heal and turn in the, the number at the top right for how many enemies you've killed uh, for money. It's basically credit. So we're going to drop down here and move to the left. You need to go in this door. You hold up to enter the doors. Buffer jump there. Um, I like to mash Y and A in this conversation. You need to move to the left. You don't want to jump because it'll slow you down. To enter the doors, it's kind of weird. You need to be on top of the door and not pressing anything except up. Um, so even if you're holding jump in front of a door, uh, it won't let you in. So uh, you can enter them very quickly like I did there by just uh, tapping jump. 
this next room coming up uh, after this one, there are a couple of options. You'll see me go through it twice. One is to just keep on mail. Thanks to Joey for this strat. Um, it's kind of scary. <laughs> you have to avoid that fireball. You will take damage. The other option is safer. You're going to swap to tap. Kill this guy. Move to the right. Kill this dragon head from below. Then swap back to mail to do your jumps. It's definitely safer. It's slower. Um, but, you know, you have you have some options here. You're going to continue to the left. Um, something to take note of, uh, you take damage in the water um, very slowly, but you do take damage. So if you're very low health in the water, you should probably switch to tap. Here we see this cutscene. This is a, a set of running gags in this game. Uh, this is one of them with the, this guy blowing everybody up, including you. So be prepared to see that. Climb over here, enter this door. We need to talk to this guy in the second door. Very important to do that. Then we're going to go in the shop. Uh, the options here. Second option changes money. Third option heals. You can switch characters in the shop with R. That will be important later. Here, go back into this cutscene room, I like to call it, because we see a lot of cutscenes here. Uh, we're going to be basically doing a lot of cutscenes to kind of trigger flags and get items. Uh, so here we're going to drop down. We're going to visit that one-eyed dragon again. And he will give us the item that's in his chest now that we have uh, spoken to those guys up above a couple of times. So talk to him. Then activate the chest, mash through this conversation. Again, Y and A, good options here. You don't want to jump. All right, moving to the right. Now we have a Matic. The Matic lets us break through some blocks. You're going to see a goldfish here. Huh, goldfish. Um, you can ignore it. You don't have to get it. Um, it has an optional upgrade, though, that will let you breathe underwater. Um, you can kill it any time. Um, I think it's most convenient to kill it coming out of this room. You're going to see me do that after this clip. I ignore it this time. That's the fastest method. If you ignore it, you uh, really you'll just take some underwater damage for a little bit. Um, here you can kill it. You don't pick up the scale right away though. There's a little bit of a delay, so just be mindful of that. You don't want to move too quickly away from it. All right, either way, you're going to climb back up, kill some of these fish along the way, and get you a little bit of extra money. In this room, move to the right, enter the door to say hello. What you got from the chest uh, using the Matic was a crystal. Uh, you need that for uh, reasons. Uh, I think you exchange it in order to get through the final bit of this area. Here, we're going to use Tat. Uh, Mail's pretty hurt, so we're going to definitely use Tat to our advantage here. I like to call this the bullet hell room. You can ignore the enemies, just move to the right and jump through. This is kind of ideal movement with getting on the, that platform. It's okay if you drop a little, if you touch the spikes, it's, it's, it will hurt you, but you'll be okay. Hitting spikes is not great, uh, but you'll be okay. Here, you have to hold down and jump uh, to get through all that nonsense, otherwise you will get kind of stuck on the platforms. This room is annoying. Uh, you want to kind of shimmy your way over to the right and down. Here, jump attack. If you do not kill that skeleton, he will wreck your day. Uh, very important that you kill him, so please be mindful. Uh, you can try to kill it with mail, it's pretty hard. Um, he will probably kill you, especially if you have low health. You have to go down here, and you have to activate that little trigger down there, and then climb back up. Talk to this guy. And we are almost done with our first foray into stage two. In this conversation, I like to hold select. You are going to be going back to the beginning area of the game after it. Basically, this dragon tells you, hey, my kid is sick, I need medicine. Uh, we can get medicine in the first area with the worst minigame of all time. I am truly sorry if you're speedrunning this game that you have to do this. Um, one quick note, uh, you'll notice Mayo healed up. Uh, we will be switching back to Tat to heal him before we leave this area. But first, we have to do uh, the worst minigame. Um, we don't really have a good way to do this yet. Uh, I know Lonk wants to continue experimenting with this. Um, I've found a way to pause buffer it. Uh, basically, the explanation here is he will sell us medicine for 3,000 gold. We don't have 3,000 gold, uh, but he will sell it to us for 500 if we can hit him with a hammer successfully three times. Uh, he can also do the same to us. 
Um, he will get almost instantaneous attacks. So the, what he just did there, he lowers his shield and then all of six frames later he starts an attack. Um, so what I like to do is watch for him to put his shield down, pause. I hold B this whole time to keep my shield up. So once I see his shield go down, I pause. And my pause is not fast enough to be within a six frame window. So um, if I pause and he is not hitting me with his hammer, um, I'm safe to hit him. If you're a, like a super, super fast pauser, uh, you probably will beat me at this by just uh, not pause buffering and just being able to eyeball it. Uh, but that's the best method I've found, uh, this pause buffer. Here, switch to tap and then uh, immediately hold select when you're ready. To go back to the map, just hold up, hold B to enter when you're ready. There is a button we haven't used yet, it's the L button. Um, we're not going to use it for a long time, so don't worry about it yet, uh, but know that uh, L opens a menu uh, where we can switch our equipment. Uh, we're about to, uh, the reason I mentioned that, uh, about to get a second weapon for Pat. Uh, it is a bomb spell. And the bomb spell is very good for this area, especially the bosses. So we're going to immediately equip it. You can also see the little little baby dragon here. He's pretty cute. So go in this room, pick up the cane, we'll get the bomb spell. That's the only weapon upgrade we're going to get for Tat. Well, I should say the only uh, other weapon we're going to get for Tat. Now we will get some upgrades for him in the next level and in stage four. Here, talk to this guy. You're gonna automatically move. I like to hold R here so that I can switch back to male and then jump. He will act as kind of a, a stepping stone for us here. Here there are bats that come. Um, Joey does a much better job of this than I do. He will jump and kill these bats. Um, I, I don't have that timing down just yet. This next room can be pretty tough. Um, you're going to do a lot of platform jumping. Here I like to walk off, big jump, jump, immediately jump, jump. Uh, this guy, you will probably just bounce off of him. There will be some lag uh, with more of these bats on the screen, so it may be helpful to kill them. Uh, you want to not get hit by this guy, of course. Just kind of continue moving on your way. Drop down here. This is really weird. Um, you just want to drop down the middle and then hold right and then jump there. Um, you'll get used to the, the spacing of that. Um, you'll probably mess it up a couple of times, so just be mindful of where it is. You can climb back up on either side. Um, and then these jumps, you don't want to fall down. If you fall down, you have to do the whole thing over. This room, similar, um, just keep moving to the right. Once you're here, it's fine to drop down, but you kind of want to stay high to avoid these enemies. If you jump here, there's a lot of lag, so I try to stay down on the ground. Here, Tat gets to show off his skills. There are a bunch of different ways to do this room. I'm going to show you several of them. Um, one is just hold upright and attack, like so. That's one option. Another option is to buffer, like do two attacks here, one, two, and kind of buffer your movement by doing those two attacks and then moving to the right. Other option is to jump and attack right away, then move to the right. You do want to kill that green guy. My, my personal preference is, is right here, is hold upright and just mash attack. Once he's dead, I stop attacking. If you get hit by the bat, it's not a big deal. After that, drop down, go to the right. You want to hold down and right in this transition and kill that guy. Apologies for all the music fades there. Had to stitch a lot of things together. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to go through this next room. The first is to stay on tap. Uh, this is the safest. You will uh, kill all the enemies in your way except that one. Climb up. Here, there is another dragon here. Um, you can kill it, you don't have to. Um, here, I switch to male because her jumps are a little bit better for what you want to do. The whole goal here is to climb up to this shop. So that's using tat. You can also use male the entire way. This is a bit riskier. Um, this is a Joey strat. <laughs> it's a bit harder to do. Um, and so I got lucky there with kind of jumping on the enemy. Um, here, you want to kind of wiggle out and away uh, before they hit you. Uh, it's easier here, not as many things in the way. You can do a nice big jump there. Either way, you're going to get to the shop. 
Um, I will apologize, you'll notice uh, the, <laughs> sh the amount of money that we have throughout the run uh, will, will sometimes be inconsistent. Uh, here I heal both characters and I buy a piece of armor for Tat and equip it right away. Um, as long as you know where the things are in the menu, uh, it doesn't really matter that you can't read it, <laughs> you know? Uh, as long as you are very careful and only choose the second option to exchange money, the third option to heal, R to switch characters to heal or have the specific person buy weapons or armor, uh, and use the first option to buy the things. Any of those is fine. Uh, Pressing Y leaves the shops. I don't think I mentioned that before. It's kind of an important detail. Y will cancel out of any menu. We see Gao here. Gao is our third character who just got beat up by a boss. So, you know, really auspicious start for him. Uh, but we're going to go try our luck here and try to save that girl. In terms of lore here, this girl is the granddaughter of the wizard that we are chasing. The wizard is called Material. If you have played the uh, Sega CD version, it is Muttonhead. <laughs> uh, but we're going to try to save her. Here, just I'm mashing jump and holding right. That's what you want to do. Try to get an attack in here. Stand on this platform, hold up and attack facing left. Uh, you will kill this boss very quickly if you do that. It can go wrong. Um, you can miss this one cycle. And I'll show you what will happen if you do that. But generally, you're able to do this as long as you can jump over to that platform. Quick shout out to Lonk for this strategy. It's much appreciated. So here we go again. The side note, Tat is uh, Material's apprentice. And so he's kind of out to uh, stop his, his mentor from doing bad things. And so here, mash jump again. Try to get an attack in, fail. If you're too slow with these attacks, the dragon will get away. You j just stay on this platform, don't try to be cute. You can keep attacking up and get it that way. And here we'll see it one more time. This is, if it goes real, real bad, uh, this is what can happen. The dragon can just kind of swoop back and forth. The good news is as long as you are on the platform that I'm standing on, uh, nothing bad's gonna happen to you. <laughs> so, just yes, keep attacking up here. He'll fly that way. He'll fly this way. He'll be back up there. He'll fly that way. He'll fly this way. And then he'll just go back up there. So as long as you're in this general location, you should be fine. Uh, don't try to chase it. If you try to chase it, it will not work out in your favor. So don't even worry about it. Let him come to you. Next room. Uh, this room can be really annoying. I'm going to be honest. Uh, and uh, there's really, uh, we're still kind of exploring ways to make it better. You can drop down, you can drop on some of these. If you try to go too fast, you're going to run into these skeletons and they're going to kick your butt. Um, they do a lot of damage, even with Tat's upgraded armor. They do even more to male. Uh, what you just saw there was if you attack <laughs> before you get on the, the ladder, sometimes the game will just be like, well, you're not going to get on the ladder then. So just be careful. You want to get on the ladder before you press down and attack. Here, I'm very careful to kill the guy that would have been on that long platform. Very important here, hold down left and attack. Swap to mail and jump right away. You can get this cycle. Um, it's pretty tight. If you mess up the timing, you're probably not going to get it. You're going to see this twice. Um, you'll see it with these kind of jumping slashes that aren't very effective. Here you're going to switch to Tat. Do a quick jump. It gives you a little bit of space to make sure this area is cleared out before you uh, commit to going further. Um, so here this is again. Um, ideally, you want to clear these bats out to reduce lag. Uh, so you can hold down and attack to do that. Here again, drop down the ladder. Switch to tap. A little hop. And then kill these guys. See, that one hit me that time. Um, they can be, if you just drop down right away, they can hit you multiple times in a row and just absolutely wreck your day. Um, Lonk has had that happen many times. Uh, and so have I. <laughs> so please be careful of that. 
here we see Gao has fallen all the way down. Um, we're going to be fighting another boss here. Uh, you will see it twice. The first time will be pretty quick. Uh, and then the second time I will actually slow the video down so you can see uh, what to do. Um, the short explanation is move to the right. We're going to attack the boss three times and then move to the left and hold up and attack until it's dead. So here's one, two, three, move left, face right, and then attack. If you notice I'm standing in front of a dark spot, that's where you want to stand uh, in order to get this. It's, it's a pretty generous spot, um, but you, know, you kind of want to be in this general area. So you would mash after that, and then we'll see this again. One, two, three attacks, move left, face right, and then just hold up and attack. You will take damage. So just be mindful, um, you don't want to take too much damage getting here because then you will not be able to fight the boss. Uh, the good news is if you die fighting a boss, you just go right back into the boss fight. If you die anywhere else in the stage though, you will go back to the nearest checkpoint, which is usually the last cutscene that you finish. Uh, so you probably don't want to have that happen. That boss strategy, another one courtesy of Monk, thank you. Here we see... Uh, Material's granddaughter. I think her name is Meryl. Here, uh, she will kind of push Tat around. Um, and she's also going to uh, fart on him, apparently. I, I don't know what's actually happening. I'm sure she's, like, kicking at him or something, but uh, I, I think she farted on him. That's why she runs away. Anyway, Tat's like, well, I, I saved her, but now she's gone, so I guess I'll leave. You have to climb back up out of here. Um, you'll notice I'm going to mash Y here, and nothing's going to happen. There's a little, like, auto-movement transition. There are a couple of those in this level. Um, there's another one right near the end that we're going to uh, use mail to kind of jump over. Um, but they can be a little bit weird. Uh, you'll, you'll notice them sometimes. They really only show up in this level. They may be in other levels, we just don't notice them as much. Uh, this jump is pretty tricky. <laughs> you want to land on that middle platform, jump right away. This next room, it can be really, really mean. <laughs> Using mail, you want to make sure to avoid the attack of that first skeleton. And then you can get that downward strike on that guy pretty quickly. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you kind of have generous timing on it. Uh, you just want to be careful. So that's using mail. It's a, it's a harder strategy. Uh, that's Joey's strat. So shout out to him for that. This is where that auto transition is right there. You can see male pause for a second. Um, safer strat. Switch to tap. Kill this guy. Jump up here. Kill this guy. You can, you'll know he's dead because you can hear it, and you'll also see your your money indicator flash gold. Um, I, I don't know why. This is legit the best option that I had <laughs> for this clip, um, was, was me taking a ton of damage from bats. Um, probably you just want to kill the bats instead. Possibly switch to male. Either way, move to the left, go to the shop. Exchange your money and heal. In this case, Tat was fully healed, so I didn't need to heal him. Uh, I'm going to buy healing items. At a high level, you probably don't need to do this, um, but you know, when you're starting out, you probably want to. You're going to buy four of those oranges, two cherries, and that's it. As long as you haven't used healing items yet, that's all you'll need for a full stock. You'll move to the left and hop up. We'll see Yao again. Uh, Gao will basically say, hey, I want to come with you to stop the bad guys. And so we'll be like, all right, cool. And then we'll be moving on to stage three. And stage three we will talk about in another video, uh, because this is already going to be about 30 minutes. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Um, hope you stick around and enjoy the run.